first time I've ever been on like a full like suspension bridge. I've never been like besides like those ones like you'd see in the playgrounds or whatever, I've never actually been on a real life suspension yeah. bridge. And it's crazy because you feel it moving, right? It's definitely moving. It's but really this is, cool. This is the um, Spruce Street it's Suspension Bridge. It just like kind of connects like two blocks, I guess. But it's just like a cool little spot to hang out at. Yeah, it's definitely cool that it's just like a regular thing to connect two blocks. Yeah. Like this thing. You can imagine this being in the jungle. But there's neighborhoods all around us here. Can you guys see it just swaying back and forth over there? Anytime I'm on something like this, I always think of like Indiana Jones. And like, what, they're usually really rickety in an Indiana Jones movie or a type of movie like that. Where like, you really have to be careful when you're stepping across the two by fours or whatever kind of boards that they use to connect the bridge because they usually step through one of them and it's usually like a dramatic, you know, exciting moment. So this suspension bridge was built in 1912 and it was initially designed to provide pedestrians a passage across the deep canyon to get between the new trolley lines built on the 4th and 5th Avenue. So it now serves as a secret, serene, and very romantic spot beloved by locals and visitors to San Diego alike. And those buildings, those buildings right there, guys, that's the city of San Diego just over those trees. This is just a cool little unique part of San Diego that we're really not too familiar with being from our area. We really don't even have big hills or anything like that. So we don't have any suspension bridge connecting any neighborhoods. But right now we're going over to probably one of the cooler spots in San Diego, La Jolla Cove, where you can see all the seals and sea lions. You can just get down to the water and all that stuff and they're right there. So uh, I want to go film them. That's, that, that's probably why we're in San Diego pretty much. Then we're gonna go grab something to eat, but uh, yeah, let's go see these seals and sea lions. Pelicans. It's cool, it's really pretty. It's yeah. Pacific Ocean. I almost forgot the word ocean. Okay. <laughs> like I was I like gonna say do the shells Coast. here. Yeah. Cool. One that like attacked the little baby. Yeah. I felt so bad. The little ones are so cute. And they're just like chilling on the beach. So, like you can literally like walk right up to one if you wanted to. They do advise you not to walk up to them. Yeah. And I have some like some have approached me like in aggressive ways. Like they were like coming right at me. So yeah, I don't know if you should really 
mess with them too much. Yeah. I mean, they'd like to bite each other, so I assume that they would bite you or me or anybody else that came near them. So, yeah, but they're definitely cool. Yeah. Sea dogs are like little furry dogs. Uh, yeah, like, oh, like well, well, dogs are furry, them. but they're like little furry water creatures. Yeah. It's awesome. They look exactly like dogs. Look at this bird trying to start problems with them. What do you think? It's cool. I've never really seen anything quite like it, so. Yeah. I just love like the coastline. It's so pretty. So right now we're just basically doing a walk up the entire coast of La Jolla, which is really beautiful, filled with all kinds of wildlife. Yeah. Like I said, the seals, the sea lions, pelicans. We see seagulls and stuff like that, but those three things right there, we don't regularly see. No. And we don't have any coastlines like this, really back in the East Coast. Like our beaches, like our beach, Long Beach, there's nothing like this. No. So, it doesn't, and it doesn't have any wildlife on it besides seagulls. Yeah. So, that, that's all we're getting out of our beaches. But yeah, this is really beautiful. You can see all the way down the coast, how it cuts in and out. Yeah. It's really, really, it's nice. really nice. It's a really, really nice area. like the La Jolla Cove area like it's gonna turn into the, the cove right here but this is where like majority of the seals are and birds and whatnot but it has such a smell to it that it's actually kind of gross yeah like I'm used to smelling like seafood or like not like seafood but like ocean type scents but this is just like I, I, I don't know I don't know how to describe it like I've been on like farms and all that stuff and you smell like horse manure and like oh, well, it's all this bird shit this bird shit all over the rocks and there's probably seal shit inside of there as well it just smells bad
I thought that one was coming for you. <laughs> These are so cool. So this was the La Jolla coastline. Really beautiful place. Really, in my opinion, I think it's one of the cooler places down here in San Diego because of all the wildlife. Outside of the San Diego Zoo, this might be some of the best wildlife you can get. Yeah. And I think it tops the San Diego Zoo because they're out where they're supposed to be. In their habitat. Exactly, and you get to see them where, like I said, where they're supposed to be, doing what they're supposed to be doing, not playing with balls or whatever it is Maybe that they make them do. Tricks. Yeah, circus tricks or whatever it is. So it is really cool to come down here. I definitely, definitely would suggest coming here. If you're coming to San yeah. Diego, if you're coming to San Diego, you have to know to come here already. It's, it's like a very popular area. But for those of you that never get a chance to come to San Diego, I hope you enjoyed this part of San Diego. Yeah because this is a beautiful part of San Diego. It is. And I'm saying San Diego too much right now. So we're going to go to another part of San Diego and we're going to show you that. Yep. We got to get something to eat, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to go get something to eat. I'm, I'm kind of hungry. We need something to eat. So we'll check in over at something to eat. Yeah. I love Luce Libre Wrestling. If you don't know what it is, it's Mexican wrestling. But this place is off the hook. You can see all the masks behind us here. All the decorations, all the items on the menu are named after wrestling moves. It's really, really cool. All right, so that was the Luce Libre Taco Shop in San Diego. If you have not been there, I highly suggest that you go there and check that out. It was It was good. Yeah, it was really good. Like I'm stuffed right now. I got those pulled pork nachos, which I love anytime I see like a pulled pork nachos or a pulled pork with habanero or something like that. But it wasn't like really that. like a pulled pork. No, it, was it wasn't like... traditional, but it was it was good. It was Yeah, it was, it was tasty. good. I'm definitely full. She had a nice taco, good atmosphere, good theming. Yeah, it gets pretty busy. I mean, while we were there, there, there was a lot of uh, turnover, but... Yeah, you can see that there's a lot of uh, popularity about that spot. It didn't come up for no reason yeah. in those searches. So, yeah, definitely check them out. If you've checked them out, let us know what your experience is. Because yeah. mine was pretty good. Same. Somebody set up some ropes to climb back up, plug it down. It's really pretty. So we're at um, Sunset Cliff Cave. I think the cave is back over over there. So we're gonna take a walk over and see. I don't know how we get down or anything about it. I just had seen some pictures, so we're gonna go check it out and see what we can find.
These houses up along here are amazing. I love these Spanish style houses with the terracotta tile on the top. Really nice. But I also like these contemporary ones. The new contemporary ones here in California are really nice. But to be honest with you, I take any one of these just to have this view. So it looks like the fire department's doing rescue drills at one of the caves that we wanted to get into, which was one of the bigger ones. I guess that's why they're doing it there. And they also have like, there there was like an entire like hole that you could look down into the water and they have it all gated off now. So I guess they're taking precautions since people have been coming here and taking pictures and get maybe possibly even getting stuck down there. But yo, it is a really cool coastline. It is a really cool neighborhood. Very, very cool neighborhood. It must cost a fortune to live here. I don't even want to think of what the home prices are because then I'll know I probably don't have a chance of living in this neighborhood. So I want to keep the dream alive pretty much. One more donut spot. One more circle donut. Oh. I like the way that looks. And I like the look of that right there. What are you feeling? What are these red? Is this red velvet? The yeah. That's red velvet? Okay. Um, how much, do you want to get a half a dozen? Yeah, get a half a dozen. Do half a dozen. Can I do the um, red velvet with the with the, um, like the or whatever. I want that chocolate crawler and the chocolate long jump and a large coffee please. Large coffee. All right, so this is the, how many, what's Probably that? like the seventh donut spot we've been to. Maybe the sixth donut spot we've been to. All the donuts have been good in California. I'm going to say that. Yeah. This place didn't look as far as the interior design of the donut place, it did not look like a donut shop. It was like a bodega. It was like a Chinese bodega, if that makes any yeah. kind of sense. So it would be like a Chinese convenience store, generally, or Chinese deli. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think they're, they're making my mouth water know, just the same. About it. And I really, I really want them. So like I said before, we're going to make one more donut stop. So... Give it a shot. I just think these are like they're dense. They're not like these are like soft. You see how that is? These are I don't know. I don't like that that bottom. This bottom. That's right? why I never get them. Is it good? The frosting's uh, good, yeah. The donut itself seems a little dry. All right, let's try this long john. I've been trying these all over California. Let's see how this one is. Mm. It's good, but not the best one that I've had. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not crazy about this place. Not the best one that I've had. So, Circle Donuts in Long Beach. It's probably at the bottom, bottom of the barrel right now. I would go to Randy's, or, what was the other one? SK's. Yeah. What's up? I mean, these are pretty good. I love donuts. We had to make one more donut stop. That was kind of the theme of this trip a little bit. We were talking about donuts a lot. And, um, yeah, so this is probably going to be the uh, last of the regular vlogs that we have. Yeah. But 
We just rolled into Long Beach so we can meet up with her brother for dinner. And we just so happened to book a room at the Queen Mary because it was discounted on hotels.com for some reason. Yeah. So we got a pretty good deal on it. So we are going to live stream tonight. Those of you that saw it, thank you for watching. Yeah. Because it already happened by the time you're watching this video. But yeah, we had a good trip with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the places that we went to. Tomorrow we will be in definitely one abandoned spot. Yeah. Maybe two. So you might have two more videos from Cali coming on the way soon, but definitely one. But yeah, thanks for uh, joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Peace, guys. Peace.